All right, guys, y'all are gonna believe this right here. So as you can see, the ostriches are all acting really suspicious right now. The goats are acting weird. And I think it's because of whatever that is right there. I, what the heck is that thing? I can't tell. I'm gonna, I don't wanna scare it off. What in the? Don't video me. That's a tiny kitten. It's a kitten. Are you sure? Oh, kitten. Its ears are, wait, it looks, has like his weird ears though. Go get closer to it and get it, Ellie. Where did it come from? How sad. Are you sure it's a kitten? Yes, Ellie. Here, you take the thing. It's a tiny kitten. Where did it come from? <gasps> She's in here with the goats, Ellie. Oh my goodness. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Looks like a gopher. Ellie, where would she have come from? I don't know. Baby, sweet girl, kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. She's sure? probably gonna scratch at you, Ellie. Oh no. Oh, I'll get it. You gotta get her, Ellie, before she, leave, before she gets out of here. Hurry, Ellie. She's gonna outrun you. Oh. oh no. Where would she have come from, Ellie? She's so small to be out and about. Ellie, where would she have come from? Right there. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. She's not gonna scratch it. She, 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 she's a baby. She's a baby. She's a baby. She's a baby. Don't. It's just, the scratch is not gonna hurt. Sweetie, where'd you come from? You're such a wild kitty, but why? Let's go give her some food, Ellie. Oh my god. You got goodness. her? Yeah. How scary is that? We're gonna give you some food, okay? Oh, okay. She's a little baby. She's old enough to live. Oh my goodness. I know. Ringo, stop. Baby, we're gonna feed you, then we'll let you go. We'll feed you, then we'll let you go. Come on, let's walk. Oh my goodness. Let's go to the shop and feed her, then we'll let her go. I thought it was she... a little gopher at first. Baby, she didn't need some feed, Ellie. She's dirty. Oh my goodness. She came for water and food, probably. Was that crazy how the the ostriches alerted? I cannot believe you saw that from all the way over They alerted that no, it was the daddy had her wings up. I thought, <laughs> something's over there. <laughs> Babe, we're gonna take care of you. We got other kittens, too. We have other kittens who you might want to hang out Kitty, with. it's okay. Don't put your face too close to hers because she might bite you and she may have something. Yeah, that's true. Uh, let's go in the shop and give her some feed. We'll just feed and water you and you can leave if you want to leave, okay? I promise. Look at the other cats. <sighs> They're all. We're just going to give her some food and water. Come here, baby. I hope Nikki doesn't think it's one of hers. What if Nikki wants to adopt her, though? I don't know. That would Nikki, be great. Nikki, not yours. You should be able to tell by the color. Bring her over here, Ellie, oh to the... Oh, my goodness. Here, here, Ellie, open. Uh, hold on. Don't let her scratch me. I'm going to empty this out. Y'all give me one second here. What a neat and crazy discovery. Hold on. Let's put it in the boat so we can get her off the ground. Okay, Ellie, hold on one second. I'm going to open... The side door. So you can stick her inside there, and then I'm gonna close the top. I gotta figure out how to close the top. I can't find the top to zip the top. Guys, I know this is a little bit crazy. All right, Ellie, put her in the inside there, then close her. Now zip it closed. And then let's get her some food. Here you go. Take the camera, I'm gonna get her some food. Don't video me, I'm not wearing a shirt. Okay. Guys, this is the darndest thing, as the southerners say. This is the darndest thing. We have some wet food. And she's hungry. She's very hungry. And how would she have come over here, Ellie? This is drier. I don't know. And then I'll give her some water. This is not this, a little bit nervous. This is not the sanctuary where animals come from across the road all the time. This is this is old desolate Longhorn Lester, so I have no idea. <laughs> This is desolate Longhorn Lester, so I'm not sure where it would have possibly came from. <laughs> oh my goodness. Seriously, I will contact Mr. Pete, our neighbor, but she came over here because she was hungry and thirsty. I hope someone did not dump her, a kitten this young. There, okay. You want to adopt her fireball? She kind of looks like you. She does like fireball. What a fireball. No, he hadn't even been here for close to that long. No, it's fireball's been neutered anyway. Fireball, stop it. She's hungry, Ollie. Look, she wants to eat and drink so bad. Well, it's all yours, kitten. You go for it. Yes, baby, you eat. So sad. Oh, fireball. Be sweet. <laughs> no, great. Gun smoke. Come here. 
Ellie, she was hungry. She came to eat. Yeah. She came because she was hungry. I wonder how she knew there was food here if she just stumbled upon she here. Just, we thought we found all of our cats today, so she just smelled it probably. And they do have good senses of smell. But my question is, where'd she come from? Probably from the right side, that direction over there, I'm guessing. I don't know. I bet you someone dumped them. That's horrible. Wasn't that neat, though, the way the ostrich lifted her wings up to say there was something there that... I, yeah, I, yeah, I didn't get that on video, unfortunately. Yeah. That's how we, because we were all in the hot tub. In case anyone's wondering what's going on, we were in the hot tub. Jamie and I were in the hot tub. Ellie's sitting there talking to us. And we noticed Debbie had lifted her wings up and was trying to scare something off. But we didn't know what it was. And so Ellie walked over, thought it might be a snake, and it ended up being a tiny kitten. The ears look, I, I thought it was. was eight weeks old, Ellie. She's young. If our kittens here are six weeks, she's at least probably about eight weeks. Yeah. So we're going to feed her good. Now, we can't leave her in a cage. We're not going to cage her, but we will feed her good. At least let her know there's a place. And let to her know there's a place that she wants to live here and eat, and that's totally fine. Just hope the other cats aren't mean to her. They're probably going to be, but look, look at your kitten over here, Lee. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> your kitten's like, hey, we got strangers here. We got a friend. Stranger danger. They could be friends, potentially. Who knows? Fireball, move away and leave her alone. And it might be a him, I have no idea, but it's a baby, and we're not gonna run a baby away. Ellie, I'm proud of you for reaching down and picking her up. I knew you were gonna get a scratch in that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wash it off. What if it has rabies or something? No. That's sad. What if she, you know, if we had let her leave, she'd been hungry through the night. Who knows how long she since she's eaten. You can see she's really ravaged. Fireball, I don't think you're really helping a whole lot. Baby, we're not here to love. We're here to take care of a baby. Now you go. That's her making the noise. Oh, mm -hmm. Lily. She's fire. You just push fire ball away, son. Yeah, you eat up, girl or boy. You you eat up, child. Man, guys, like my dad said, isn't that the craziest thing? What I'm most curious about is what Nikki's reaction to all this is going to be. Because I don't know if y'all noticed, but when we were walking with the kitten, Nikki started getting into the defense mode. I think that she thought one of her babies was distressed because she started hissing at the dogs, hissing at the cats. And she like came in a full on sprint over here because this is where the babies, where her babies like to hang out. And so I don't know if she thought we had one of her babies or if something was wrong, but I'm not sure. All right, let's go ahead and see how old boy or girl's doing. I just finished. Hello, how are you? You still a little bit scared? It's understandable, I get it. I just finished washing my hands because I did get scratched a little bit, so if this thing has any sort of diseases, I definitely don't want to get what it has too. So, did all that, but I think the plan going forward is my dad's going to leave it here for the night, give it some food and some water and then in the morning he'll feed it again and he'll open this plate he'll, he'll open this up right here so that the kitten can decide whether to leave or whether to stay hopefully it'll stay but at the very least it'll know that over here it has food and it has water so that'll be the plan going forward and i don't know we'll go ahead and keep y'all updated with everything that happens with nikki and her baby's already here. I'm not sure how that will play out. But craziest thing, guys. I never would have expected to be stumbling upon a kitten today. Another abandoned stray kitten. It's kind of funny, actually. One more thing I'll say before I wrap the video up is... Y'all know Finnegan, me and Megan's cat. He was a roadside rescue, in case you didn't remember. We made that video about a year ago when we found him, rescued him. And that night that we were driving and we saw the little creature on the side of the road, Megan thought it was a gopher at first. And uh, the reason why is because it had looked like it had little, very thin but long triangle ears, kind of like a gopher would have. And... I was like, no, that, that's a kitten. I could, you can tell plain as day that that's a little kitten. It's not a gopher. And sure enough, when we turned back around to pick up Finnegan, obviously he was a cat, so I was right. But this time, it came full circle. Because you can imagine, throughout the past year, I've been teasing her 
repeatedly about how she thought Finnegan was a gopher, this and that. But today, whenever I saw that creature out there, I think on the video you even hear me say, is that a gopher? I think that's a gopher. And I thought it for the exact same reason that Megan did because it looked like it had very tall, thin triangle ears and normal kittens have like more wide, not chubby ears, but more, I guess, equilateral triangle ears, not isosceles triangle ears. I don't know if those terms make sense, but point is, is that that's probably what I get for teasing my fiance the past year about it because I legitimately did what she did last year and took my dad being like, no, Ellie, that's a kitten. It's not a gopher. <laughs> little funny thing I thought I'd share. But, yeah, we'll do the best that we can for this little guy or girl. I kind of want to know the gender. I could take it out of there and then try to lift up the tail and see what it has, but I don't, I don't think it deserves to be any more distressed than it already is. So maybe we'll find out the gender another time. But with that said, I hope you all enjoyed. Y'all be sure to let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you like to see. I hope you all have an incredibly blessed day. And as I always say, your boy Ellie out.